Business Design Fari here, and today I'm going to show you how to use the IBO API. So the first thing I recommend is using a Linux Ubuntu shell if you're using Windows, because the tutorial that Sony itself gives you is using Linux syntax, and I don't know the equivalent on Windows since I'm not an extra programmer or even close to that, so I use this shell to be able to run the commands in Ubuntu, so I have first look at this. And then, it, and then it goes first, and then it opens up. So the first thing I like to do when when you're going to start developing is that first you want to go into developer settings and get your access token. So, that, so I already have an access token, but if you don't already, it will say you, if you generate an access token, and once you do generate that access token, it will give you the option to copy it. And then, you, so for example, I chose to have mine for 90 days. So then for the access token, I have, a, I have it saved as a text file and I have it pasted in here. And then the first thing I like to do when I, once I get the access token is to retrieve my device ID. Because you need your device ID for your iBo to be able to do just about, to be able to do any of the APIs. So to find that, I go into documents and you do retrieve the device ID. So, when, so then, so then, you, then I click this link where it says API for retrieving device ID. So this is what you want here. So I will. So I copy. So I copy this command and do a separate text file because it's easiest to copy into a text file before putting it into the command line. And then where it says access token here, what you do is you take the text file with your access token. Copy that, and where this is highlighted, you delete the dollar sign in these brackets, and you replace it with the access token that Sony gives you. So then I select all of my command, I copy, I go back into my Ubuntu shell, and I paste it. So when I run that, you see it gives so so, be, so it gives you this the idol's nickname and then a string of numbers and letters which is the idol's device ID. So next, what I you do is you copy that and in a separate text file, you'll want to save your dog's device ID, so you can easily access it when you're copying and pasting between commands. So now that you have your device ID, I like to have Phaser in developer mode. So I'm going to set him so he sits still, so I can go, okay, actually get him the video to record. So he's just running around in autonomous mode right now, which can be a bit of a pain in the butt when you're trying to get him to run actions. So then, going into here, I do set mode. So what I'm going to do is use this set mode execute. So he has two modes, normal, which is just the autonomous mode where he'll run around and do his thing, but in developer mode he will sit still and wait for a command. So I'm going to put him in developer mode and then get him on camera so I can show you guys that this stuff is actually working. So then I will paste. So then I will grab this and then paste in the settings API. And then here's where this device ID is important. So if you know anything about these access tokens, if they're extremely long, you can use them the plug to try to deal with when you're typing. But first, use your device ID, which is what you're using to, to be able to communicate with your iBo. So you find the device ID here, you copy it. And then you paste it into where this text is sent. ID. And then once you have the device ID, you paste the access token, which I have in this text file, into the access token text filler. And then I do that. And then again, I will select all and copy my command and put it into my Ubuntu to make so make sure that the IBO is actually the developer mode. So I click this, I execute it. And now the IBO it says the status is accepted, so now he's in developer mode. So I'm gonna grab him and get him on camera because he decided to run away knowing him he's that's what he's doing anyway. But we'll grab him and I'll make that will be able to run some actions for them. 
Here he is. And instead of running around like a crazy man, he will see a way for you to be able to complete actions while you're running under the command line. Oh, you can make this. Oh, please. Good boy. He doesn't know he's showing off with his video now, so of course he's going to be like that. But, so, I think one of the easiest phrases, one of the easiest things to do on the API is just play motions. Because it's a pretty straightforward setting. So, the API instructions here give you a huge list of different motions your iBo can do. So you can really use any of these and your iBo will play them. So, the first one I will start off with is just the bark, even though sometimes he'll do that on its own anyway, but to get him to bark, I will copy this, paste it into my notepad. And then again, you want to retrieve, you want to use that device ID and your access token to be able to communicate with Ivo and, and place them and replace the device ID and access token placeholders with the appropriate data. So I'm going to copy that access token. And once it's ready, I put it into my Linux shell. Like that. And you see, once it says status accepted, the IBO will perform the command. And if, say, if you want to run the command twice, you can, you can, you can copy it again, like this, or twice, and face will bar twice. And for those of you who are probably a more versed in programming than I am, I'm sure you can use four loops to be able to set how many times a dog barks. And then I will say, then I will say, accepted once the command is accepted. And of course, I'm not going to copy right that time, so I'm just going to copy the double command again. So then there are there are a bunch of other commit there are a ton of other commands that you can do. So I'm just gonna place other actions for fun. I'll give you an example of one where it has the different body mode. So one so I think it's so one that I think is kind of fun is of course the high five. So here it is. So you can, so you can give the iBo will do a high five from the center, left or right. So what I'm going to do is have him do one from the left, the left high five. So I copy that in, and then for category, I paste it in the left high five. And then the, it's important here if you want him to be used the right hand, go in the right direction. You have to click. You have to make sure the right mode button is. Used. So then I change that to body left. And I'll show you what happens when I go to a different mode on this. So then I paste them like that. And then he's going to give you a left high five. So you see he gave you a left high five there. And now if you let it all I'll try to do a right high five by changing the mode from body left to body right. And then paste it into my command. I'll execute the command. You see he gives you a right high five. So that's how you get that, so that's how you get that action to work. And then of course there's always Fun actions like making your dog go pee, which you can do by going by using marking as the action. And then the mode is none, so I guess you can get control which to like the pee. So you, just, you can just say you can just say if you want it to pee like a boy or to pee like a girl. That's the type of word that comes. So then I have this here, and now it's gonna pee.
I go to my and, and this like then my internet disconnected like it always does because my router is piece of crap. So now I'm gonna have to reconnect the internet because he did not play the action because your iPhone must have internet connection to be able to work. So it's running through the API that is internet based. So if your router's a piece of shit and it disconnects, this might cause you some problems like it's doing with me. It's a status accepted, but it looks like maybe I'll have to get him out of this standing up mode. Is it kind of switching to a okay, switching to a scratch? Go bring the idle back and lay down. I will shake its butt as well, I guess. So there's a lot of good actions in here that you can do that I play, which is a lot of fun. Is that I'm still going to do this in this amount, so I'm just going to take me some time to be able to get it really working as well. I'll be all this times. See, he go, he's going to go out of that mode. He's standing. He's going to go like that. So you see, you can so you can play a bunch of actions in a row. If you're good at if you're good at programming, you can use four while loops to be able to ultimately create skits using the action. Okay, but there's also there's also a lot so much more to this API than just playing actions. Yeah, playing actions is just a good way to start. But you can also Take advantage of the iBooks full visual programming capabilities where you can get into approach objects, approach people, be able to find different things, which I'm probably going to mess more around with later. But you can also get, you can also query the iBooks sensor statuses using the cognition API. And then one last thing that I mentioned is that when iBo does execute, when iBo does execute a command, it gives you these, it gives you these execution IDs. So if you want Ivo to replay a certain query or command, you use this, and then you do, yeah, then you execute, you execute the ID similar to how you find the device ID. I'll be able to, I'll be able to show you that as one last thing. So you do this get execution in the settings API. So you use this. This curl get Ivo execution IDs. And then, of course, you need your device ID and your access token once again. I guess you don't need a device ID here just because it's like that's shared in the execution ID. So I'm going to use this shaking butt execution ID. So I will copy this execution number here and paste. And then I will paste the, and I'll just do use the access token again like I did before. And then I do this. So, so go, and I will be using the blood shaking motion using this execution ID. And it says that it succeeded. So I, think, so I think the execution ID is, is it's usually more for cognition APIs where the idol will give you that and then you can use this command to get the execution ID when you're trying to get idol to query different sensors, which is going to be for another video since I don't want this to be too long, but this is really, but this is just a good way to start by getting to use that the API is by just playing actions and doing a few simple things with your idol, but I really want to see some more with this video. I hope I can really see some more IBO development come in the future because I feel like the, the development with IBOs is really lacking at the moment. So if any of you are interested in doing development with IBO, I would love to be a part of that and see what work you're able to do. And also if you don't if you don't want to use the full API using it in Ubuntu Shell, visual programming is also a great option because instead of having to use a command line, it's you can do some similar actions by Dragging and dropping, dragging and dropping different options, which I will also do a video for later.
anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll definitely make some more tutorials on this as I gain experience with using the API as well. But if you want to see more tutorial videos, and if there's anything that you want, any questions or anything else you want to see about the API, make sure to like and subscribe and comment in this video. Thank you.